This playthrough is rated T for teen. All right, time to play my best piece ever, Moonlight Sonata. Here we go. Ah, nuts. I must have pressed A flat. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While I'm back here with another episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 in the last episode, we finished, we got the rare item that the hero from the previous game gave us. Her plus five staff of awesome. Well, I mean, it'd be awesome if I actually leveled up that skill. Um. Anyway, concealed through the, the keep of the Pale Knight, and we're trying to get to the top. And, uh, well, Jarek has stayed behind to fight the shadows in the previous level. So now it's up to us to, uh, with Karn to get to the top here. Why do I feel like Karn's not going to make it all the way to the top? I don't know, I just have a weird feeling. But anyway, yeah, this, this organ, all it does just summon monsters, so, oh well. Hey, anyway, let's keep... I no, can't really look at that, but... Yeah, we're so close to the top, so close. Let's just keep going a little bit further. Yeah, we're uh, we in the last episode we went through the pale keep. We fought like mummies, you know, not uh, not quite uh, skeletons and ghouls or wraiths or not not wraiths, uh, ghouls or or uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the other types of ghouls now. Now my brain is shut down on that. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of nasty creatures in here, um, doing a lot of damage. So I hate to think what the boss of this place would be like. You know, we've been fighting every single undead, a type of undead in this place and in the game. We even fought a Nightwalker. What what have we not fought from the undead? Perhaps the most famous one of all. Not the famous reindeer of all, just a famous undead. You know what I'm talking about. Well, if you're if you know all about Gothic horror and stuff like that. Actually, technically we haven't fought in a Wolfman, so that'd be another option. Or the Frankenstein's monster, or the uh, monster from the Blue Lagoon, or whatever. Or the, Black Lagoon or whatever. Blue Lagoon is something else. Uh, what other did we not actually run across? Or it was considered undead or what's considered part of the old monster uh, group. That isn't the obvious one. Ow. Ah, watch it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me with your shadow fingers. It's kind of gross. It reminds me of salad fingers. Ooh, creepy. I don't even think anyone's gonna get that reference. Really, that's like obscure, like internet stuff. There. Well, I don't know if I'd say obscure. Well, maybe nowadays it is, just because of how old, old the property is. But yeah, Karn, go with your, go with your magical knives of death. Seem to work well. Keep doing it. I believe in you. All right. I think we're almost done here. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, we were just so close, but I was like, nah. Best save it for next time. I should go and save it here for you. Oh, save it. Uh, <coughs> Wait, were there a couple shadows? Did you see the uh, the fingers p poking out from the little thing when we smacked it? Kind of creepy. Cool. Uh, oh, well, actually, I need to go back to town anyway because I think I'm almost out of HP potions. Yeah, I've only got like four potions. <coughs> so probably be a good idea to save it and go buy some more and come right back. Yeah, we're that we're right there at the we're almost at the top of this place. Well, actually, we are at the top. We just have to go through that thing there. We're boom, we're there. Gold. Got a club. That'll beat the boss of this place. Something's not right. Okay. I mean, I knew it was shadows, so but I was just like, I was like, really for that little spot? That's where you get the something's not right. Gold. Rejuvenation potion. Yeah, we should drop more healing potions. There's the other one. I was about to say, it usually it pops up on both sides. There we go. Yeah, alright, let's save it. Let's just save it. And go back to Baldur's Gate to buy potions. Alright, let's go. Uh, Karin, I'll be right back. He's like, wait, you can just go back to the town at any time? Is that how I lost you? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Ah, Baldur's Gate. A very nice, nice place. Clean, calm. Nothing bad's gonna happen here at all. Nope, not at all. Welcome back. Make certain you've everything you need before you approach that tower. Well, I already did. I mean, I'm already in that tower right now, so you know. Uh, oh right, I forgot. I got a lot of these uh, things I can break down. So break, break, break it down. Break it down. Yeah, break down. Break down. Anything else? Nope. All right. Sell all that crap. I'll pray for your success while you're gone, friend. Ah, I, I appreciate it. Don't, didn't know you were praying, man. 
thought you were praying mantis or something like that. Yeah, I'll keep all my rejuvenation potions even though I don't really need them. Ooh. Yeah, we got grand scale mail. I could beef up that. Now, yeah, what's this one? Uh. Uh, reduces duration of slow, 3% treasure drops. Not that big of a deal, but it is better than what I've got than the Fiant Fate scale mail. I could break that down finally. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't want shoddy when it comes to chain mail. I'd rather have like good chain mail if I really get any chain mail. It's three. Well, it's no. It's all that. That's no, a 10, so. Scale boots. Yeah, I think I've got the best boots and stuff I can buy at this point, so. Yeah, I probably should sell that just because. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Well, with you were I younger, but let me sell this stuff real quick. Like me shouldn't be assaulting vampire lords in their black towers. I wouldn't assault vampire lords in their towers either. Yeah, we can break that down. All right, sell that, then buy a few potions, at least a few. Let me see, because I've got four. Probably six would be fine. I probably should buy more, but I think I'll be good with six, and then I find out that's actually not good enough. I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, let's go. It seems this is as far as I'm going tonight. I will remain here so that you can move on. I can't say that it hasn't been interesting working with you, adventurer. We'll have to meet again someday. Did you just, like, reach out to shake my hand? Didn't I destroy all your plans? Welcome, friend, to my home. Please forgive my servants below for giving you such trouble. They can be an unruly lot, I know. Ah, Mordok. We've, we meet for the first time for the last time. Yeah, the guy who's been, like, in the shadows be, doing all this stuff, and here he is. Man, I guess that means we're at the end of the game, right? Vampire, vampire or not, you're quite bold for one about to be killed. Must it come to blows, then? Are you so naive, thinking this all some storybook cliché? That with me defeated... All will be right with the world. Bend the knee, serve me, and know what it is to live life eternal. Why do, why do villains always do that? Most heroes want to do that. I do like his outfit, though, although it's different from most vampires, I'll admit. I guess I'm just used to, you know, like uh, Dracula vampires. But yeah, that, that a vampire is what we were going to fight. I mean, if you didn't already guess it. I should have known. You have a stubborn look about you. So let it never be said that I was cruel or without chivalry. I offered you my hand, and you spurned it. Mortal, on your guard. Oh, and I said never before to his answer. Huh, uh, a, dra a Dracula with a rapier. Maybe the whole point to pierce your skin and drink your blood by poking you or something like that. Anyway, it's time to bite you for boss time against Mordok himself, the uh, the vampire lord. So, uh, or the Pale Knight, or whatever you want to call it. Where'd you go? Hello? Mordok, Mordak, whatever. Uh-oh. Ah, he stunned me. Ah. Yeah, he uses, uh, like, cast, like, magic with, uh, shadow bolts. And, uh, can stun you if it hits. And he also summons a Nightwalker at us. What the heck, man? Yeah, he's trying to, uh, the Nightwalker's trying to stun us. And poison us, too, so. Alright. Ah. Yeah, ow. Okay, maybe I should have bought a few more potions. Ah, oh, and he turned to bats. Oh, God. No. No. Yeah, he really can't stay too far away from that. Uh... Oops. No, I forgot to switch to my other, my other weapon. I like the music for the Mordok fight. Yeah, I probably should have bought, bought a few more potions. At least I can block the vampire bats. It's one of those things I've kind of forgotten.
Just block, block to win, baby. Finally, he beat his Nightwalker. Ow. Oh, he can, yeah, he can, uh, and when he hits you with his melee, he can uh, drain, drain your blood or whatever and uh, heal himself, which is uh, kind of heinous. Yeah, I need to get over there. Oh, yeah, every time he teleports, he summons those like, shadow creatures or whatever. Block those. At least you can block on all sides. Ah, yeesh. Oh, no. All right, I forgot when you're at range, you can't block. If you get right, you can hit him from far away with uh, even with uh, his bat forms. Because for whatever reason, he won't. Uh, his bats won't come after you after a certain point. The only problem is he can't block, so it gets a little annoying. Yeah, this guy's a like I said. I wouldn't say super hard, but he is definitely a challenge because of you know how much damage he can do. You know, he summons that Nightwalker attack you, and then he every time he teleports, he uses that shadow shadow magic on it and uh oops actually i guess sprint would be a better ability wouldn't it yeah i'm not sure who the best character to use against uh mordok is probably alessia is probably one of the well and doran obviously but doran's kind of you know pretty dangerous himself so well, they don't do a ton of damage. I'm really just trying to separate myself so I can, uh, you know, basically rejuvenate myself. Okay, I guess I can get a little bit closer in to smack him this time, so. Wait for his bat forms to, uh. Eh. Yeah, weirdly his bat form doesn't, they don't do a ton of damage. Ow. Oof. Yeah. It's heinous, because he does that whole, he does the pierce defense thing, so, like, he can easily get through my AC, so that's why he does so much more damage. It's better to kind of get in a few licks at the center of the Tootsie Pop with uh, this ranged attack. He has, like, you can cheese him just like any boss in the game. He's, still, he's not as easy as Gloomwing, obviously. Or was it Doomwing or whatever his name was? The guy you could just basically hit on the other side of the screen with, like, no problem whatsoever. That'd be paralyzed, or stunned me. Ha! Ah, dude! Oh, he summoned his Nightwalker friend again. That's why I was like... I can get the Nightwalker to. Yeah, sorry, the Nightwalker is one of those things you almost want to try and separate from uh, Mordok so you can actually. Uh... No, it looks like I separated him. Like, really far away, like he's still on the other side there. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of cheesing the fight a bit, but this, like I said, this guy's kind of dangerous to. Viadra there just because of like how he works as a as an enemy so it's easier just to like range attack him than to uh, get up close especially when he does like summons his nightwalker friend up like fight you ow nah. maybe I should unequip that uh, staff just so I can Go back to my fist when it comes when it becomes pertinent. Whoa! Ah, dang it! I didn't mean to. Oh, healed himself again. It's because I'm in the middle of a combo, so I can't stop myself. Yeah, I'm trying to like manipulate his AI a bit. Now, got more set of HP. Might have to back off for a minute. Ah! 
back off for a minute and range attack him for a bit. Yeah, it's worse when he gets a heal in. Because, yeah, the, when he heals himself, you know, he basically, you know, takes away all that damage you did to him, so. Come on, it's kind of annoying if I do save myself myself. Luckily, he can get a couple of cheap shots when he does his sword flourish ability. Ah. I don't know if I, don't know if I consider Mordok the, the hardest boss in the game. I mean, he's supposed to be hard. He's, he's the bad guy who's been manipulating us and uh, things since the first game. You know, with his lizard friend, like his lizard friend was working with him. The other guy we killed uh, back in Act 2. Yeah, back off when you get that healing. Now, if you have a ton of healing, obviously it doesn't matter. Because then you can just, you know, take your hits. Take your licks, man. But me, Viadra, nah, she can't take those licks as easily as other characters can. Although if you had a, was it a Yaren or Yaren or whatever, he's interesting, it, weirdly useful here because of his ability to summon undead and stuff like that. It's not giving me a chance to hit him with the blades. Yeah, if I had more HP, I would be doing what I was doing before, where I would just run around him and smack him in the back. But since I've only got the one potion and I've been getting kind of unlucky, I'm in a doing this instead. And he's almost dead. Take your take your take your undeath like a man. Ow. Only so many more hits left, man. I can't and I also can't afford really to get up close and personal to him because he might uh um, he might steal his uh, my his HP back. Well, at least I'm healing a little bit. That's why I maxed out my, my uh, regeneration ability a long time ago. Okay, at least he's on the corner there. I want so many more hits, dude. Wah! Yeah, and because I only have one more potion, I'm also not, not risking it either. Oh, he's almost dead, dude. Ow. He's so close. There he goes. Vampire was beaten by a throwing poison knife, which shouldn't even work on, on him. Mordak escapes. The defeated vampire turns into mist and flees. Oh, we gotta find his, gotta find his uh, uh, coffin. Zenhast, the time is upon us. Prepare to move the Onyx Tower into Baldur's Gate. But, my lord, your allies are not yet prepared. Now is not the time to question me, Thrall. An army of 40,000 undead soldiers will allow us to hold the city until our allies can mobilize. Besides, what would any army sent against us do? Besiege the city? <laughs> our troops will not need to eat, sleep, or fear disease. No, Zanhast. Meddling fools may have forced my hand early, but they have not beaten me. Let us go. As you command. Was a crap show. Looks like uh, Mordok summoned the Onyx Tower to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Praise Joaquin and Helm and Lathander and Torm and any other god who care to take credit. You've returned. I, I mean, sh you know, Baldur's Gate, like D and D itself, is filled with like a ton of heroes and stuff like that. So it ain't just the gods. It ain't just me. And what am I gonna do? Well, I guess we've done everything that we can. But that's always the hardest thing about doing a. An adventure where you know there's like a million other heroes in the general area that could probably help too but yeah 
Anyway, yes, thank the gods I'm here. What happened here? Or what happened here? I, it's, it, I don't know rightly, but it's a disaster, that's for certain. I was riding back up the road from Berenost when I saw a great black tower just appear in the middle of the city and send out a great ring of black lightning. The city gates were open when I arrived. It's as if, as if everyone has been turned into a mass of maddened cannibals. It must be that accursed tower. I'm grateful as all the hells I wasn't here when it arrived. It's the Onyx Tower, once Eldrith's and now Mordok's. He must be behind this. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to do everything, uh, what I do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. I mean, uh, save the world. Save the city, of course. Couldn't hurt to have the jewel of the Western Heartwinds in my debt. Well then, best have a look at what I have to offer. Perhaps there's something here that you could use in your last battle. Yeah, why don't you why don't you use those weapons yourself, dude? If you could find these like rare plus five weapons and stuff like that, why aren't you fighting? You know, nah, I know why, but still, it's just kind of funny. Uh, let's see, huh. Polar's Gate is a zombie-infested ruin, and you want to haggle? I am a merchant by trade, after all. I'm sure as gold glitters that you'll succeed. So there's no sense in giving away my best equipment for nothing. Uh, you will succeed, won't you? Well, if you drop the price a little bit. There's only one game where they do the whole, you know, where they have, like, a, a shop owner. Like, most games, they'll have a shop owner. Despite it being the end of the world, they'll still sell you stuff. And they'll still charge you for it because, you know, money has to be important. But there's only one game I can think of that, like, when you beat the, when you almost beat the game or you get it close to the end of the game, the shops actually just give you everything for free. Uh, it's a few rare instances. I would mention it, but I don't know if I want to spoil it, but, uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see what you have to offer. I don't, I don't think you really have anything to do from before. I think it's just a case of rebuying stuff if you're prepared for the, uh, yeah, final bit of the game. Because, yeah, we're at the final bit of the game, by the way, for those who don't know. So... You know, best best to get like all the best stuff going on here. So, Ooh. man, too bad it's. I mean, improved critical is good, but you you actually, what gloves do I currently have? Oh, I got the imperial gloves. That's actually what I want to make my final weapon. Yeah, I decided to uh, equip the. I forgot to equip the armor, so I did that off screen. But um, I'll talk to you again. Make certain you've everything you need before you approach that tower. Oh well, actually, hmm. I guess that line still works now because it's there's a tower here, but there was a tower when we get to the Pale Knights thing too. So, how appropriate game? How appropriate? Yeah, I need to. Yeah, what I need to do is I just need to buy a, f a full plate of armor. Um, I was hoping maybe one would drop by at some point and I get lucky, but no. Seems like I might just have to buy one and build it myself. Ooh, I could just buy the superior one and break it down. Oh, wait, no, it's already got a plus two. Never mind, I can't break it down. Well, actually, I think you can break it down even without the rune stones. I think you just don't get anything from it. That might be a way to do it. I'll save that for next episode, though. Uh, okay, well, anyway, we still got episode to go. So, yeah, we got to get into Baldur's Gate and uh, make our way to the tower itself. Yeah, just because we left for like a, half, a hot minute... The tower, the, the town couldn't handle itself. Yeah, see, I was joking as well, like, oh, we went to town slowly, think it's all okay. Yeah, it's uh, not okay. All right, anyway, let's go inside. Can we talk to anyone? No, no, all right. Just Bartley. But yeah, this whole place is filled with uh, zombies now because the Onyx Tower has now corrupted all of them. Turn them into zombies or some form of undead. Mainly zombies. I mean, it's been a while since we fought straight zombies. And they got a lot of HP. Apparently, the the modern denizens of Baldur's Gate have quite a bit of HP, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we're at the base of the final. I think there's like a handful of areas left, but yeah, we're pretty much like we're pretty much near the end of the game. This is it. Oh, is there, oh, you're still crawling around. And yeah, none of the buildings are um, enterable, so. Don't worry about that. I'm just killing everything because I want to. Yeah, you guys can do a ton of damage. Even though you're regular zombies. You're like the best zombies. I reckon Undead God Fetus over here or something like that. And yes, that is a thing in DD. No one will ever run across it because it's one of those epic level things. But, you know. 
Because most very rarely do DMs ever like run epic level campaigns. Yeah, I can't go into the warehouse anymore. We don't know what happened to Jarek and Cairn. It's I assume they're still in the tower. They're probably heading back to Baldur's Gate, but they don't have apparently they don't have the ability of recall potions. But uh, you know, sucks. Yet I do. No, it's just a game. Yeah, too bad I don't know. Now I kind of wish I had like hail of arrows or sweeping. Well, I do have the sweeping attack, I guess. I could use that. Get a little extra damage. Hit a bunch of them once. Wow, they hit me really hard. Yow! God, so, like I said, I need to buy that superior, like, armor so I can customize it for the end, because I was hoping I would get one dropped, because it is possible to drop, get decent, like, armor drops, but it's not guaranteed, though. I never did go back to redo that one room to see if I could get all the treasures to try and get that armor. Not that it's guaranteed in that room or anything like that. I was just trying to prove my chances, as it were. You know, I get, trying to get my HP back up, so... Far and away. Run away, run away. Or at least not get surrounded by 50 billion dudes. Yeah, Bartley moved from here, his shop there, to back there, so... many zombies. I mean, I wonder how many people... Actually, I can't remember how big Baldur's Gate is in D&D, &D, or 5th edition. Or not 5th edition, but not, and just in D&D &D in general. I know it's a pretty big city, but I'm trying to remember what the actual stats for it were. I thought it was one of those cities that had like 100,000 people in it or something like that, but I could be wrong. That might be more like Waterdeep, or Neverwinter, or something like that. Alright. Yeah, for whatever reason, you can't you can't range attack those guys on the ground. Although, in certain vision, editions of D&D, &D, um, if you're laying prone like that, you get advantages, or you, it's hard for people to hit you with arrows because you're laying flat. Okay. Yeah, one of them is right. Yeah. I almost wish I was a wizard at the time so I could cast, like, you know, Flame Strike or, or Burning Hands or something like that, you know? Ow. Punch like a truck, man. If they if they hit me or crit me, do others really? Jeez, yeah. See, well, the great thing about them is they're kind of slow though, so you can't avoid them. It's like avoiding the noise. Oh yeah, and I missed some treasure back in Mordok's tower because I uh, I didn't grab it during the fight, so I missed some coinage. Um, I think he, I think they also drop potions as well because obviously boss fights always have ways to give you potions just in case. You know, you use a lot of them during the battle. It's a way to get a few extra ones. But, uh, so, oh well. It was one of those things I didn't want to activate another Nightwalker. Because I, I, you know, I got uh, off screen. I ran away from the Nightwalker, so it wouldn't, uh... So it wouldn't do all that crap to me while I was trying to fight, uh, Mordok there, so... Yeah, Mordok went to the Plane of Shadows to avoid it. Too bad we can't go find Undil and see if he could help us out. On wheel or whatever. And yeah, we can't find, we can't talk to our sister, half sister, because uh, can't go into the purple worm now. So, what the? Who's this? Joaquin, be praised. You've returned. I thought the city was lost, but perhaps, perhaps you can stop it. Uh, Radala, where have you been, and why'd you go emo all of a sudden? What happened? Where's I Rada? don't know. The Onyx Tower. It suddenly appeared. People began to die, and then rise again. Come, I can lead you to the base of the tower. Um, yeah, but, uh, what's with your stance and everything like that? Eh, it's probably fine. She's probably going through a phase. We all go through those phases in our lives. But anyway, we head on to Mordok's Gate number two. So, basically, we got the Mordok Gate to deal with, and then we got the Onyx Tower, and that's it for the game. <laughs> Here we are. The shadow of the Onyx Tower. My master's tower. Xanast made me his, just as I'll now make you mine. Come. I promise it won't hurt. Badly. Alright, time for an epic uh, cat fight. Against Rondala, who's been turned into a uh, vampire, or at least a thrall anyway, so... Yeah, she melees, she can uh, blind you, which is what that light thing was. Uh, she can heal herself as well. Yeah, kind of annoying. 
the after the uh, Mordok or not blind, I forgot what that other thing. But anyway, as in the Mordok fight, this is this is just nothing. Really, she's kind of a range. She kind of range prone, really. I mean, that's the that's the way to basically fight her without taking too much damage. It's just a uh, hit her with arrows. Oh, it's a slow ability. Okay. Uh, for a second, I thought it was blind. And wait, wait a minute. This game doesn't really have blind condition. I guess I could try to melee her for a bit. I was just trying to. Uh, I was just trying to like not take too much damage because she's like all bosses. She does a lot of damage. It's kind of why you don't want to run too far away from her because yeah, she'll see she healed like almost all of her HP. So you kind of have to always be on her toes. If you run too far away, she just heals it completely. So it's like, eh. I hate enemies that heal themselves. Most people do. They don't. They don't like it when they do all that work and then it will, like just gets taken away from them. You know. Dang it! I ran too far away. Oh God, my HP. It it hurts. It hurts so good. I could do the typical trick. I might as well use this regeneration potion or something, right? Of course, I've got so much magic, though. It's going to take a while for that to, to uh, get used up. I don't think you can stun her, if I recall. No, I didn't think so. Because she's technically undead now. It's almost kind of pathetic, really, when you when you think, like, depending on certain fights, you could just keep doing this over and over again. I keep missing. That, that's what happens when, like, I'm whiffing, basically. Even though I've got, like, good accuracy and everything with that, I'm, I'm still missing. We can go ahead from a different angle. Then. There we go. Yeah, I'm basically missing her every time I, I whiff. Not a very exciting fight, really. I mean, really, the big thing is, like, is her uh, healing herself. And she attacks us, and then we try to attack her back. It's, it's all sorts of fun. Probably let her hit me a few times since I, since I healed up a bit. all my HP. Yeah, that didn't take very long, did it? That's just how it is in this game. Like, depending on the character you're playing, you have, like, one hit, and then you're like, bam, back to normal. Oh, come on. I'm just getting really unlucky with my, uh, with my attacks. Keep missing every other second. Come on, just let it hit, dude. Yeah, isn't this like an epic grand fight for the, uh, for the, you know, close to the finale? I hit, I block, I hit, I block, I hit. Well, unfortunately, this is how it is. Um, yeah, you think this girl that's like helped you out ever since the beginning of the game, finding out that she's a villain, it's such a twist. Even though, you know, it would have been more of a twist if it was like that one girl, the, the, um, no, I forgot her name, the, the, the guard girl, if she had been, here, but uh, nope, it's Rondala because it's obvious. I was, I was, you know, if, if I was playing as Doran, there's actually a unique um, dialogue you get with Doran and Rondala over the course of the game. Um, I'll talk about that when we get to near the finale, which obviously won't be today, but. <sighs> this is gonna take forever, dude. I could just sit here blocking the whole time. Maybe that, like, maybe that, that doesn't last long enough. That's the problem, man. Oops. Oh. There we go. Ow. I better heal just in case 
I accidentally get a get hit too hard or something like that and I die. And then you have to do this whole fight all over again. Oh crap. Oh god. I better heal again just in case it gets me again. See this is why I'm like very prone not to like just straight out attacking her every every chance I get because she'll you know she hits me. She does like you know, 100 HP of damage or something like that. Actually, how much HP do I actually have? Yeah, see? Almost hits me for a third of my HP every time she smacks me. Maybe not quiet, but it's a lot every time I hit. And of course, like all, all things, the bosses always have a ton more HP than you do. Frankly, I'm, I'm at a good level. I don't know why I'm missing so often, to tell you the truth. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be whipping this often. You know, this whole epic music sounds great. It's just it's just accompanied by a fight that, uh, you know, not as epic. Just because of this. I'm really not sure what else to really add to this fight, folks, to, to tell you the truth. It's just I wish I wasn't missing all the time so we could actually make this thing go by a lot faster. You know what I mean? I guess I could have cut the fight, you know, and uh, till I... Like beat her within an inch of her life or got pretty close, you know. But uh I just want to show you, you know, how bad it is on this on this fight, you know. If I was playing as Dorn, I'd probably be doing a lot better. But uh no. Oh well. Or even with uh even with uh you know Yaren, you know, could summon all these skeletons to help me fight her, you know. Trying to get like maybe like a few more hits in. Oh, gosh, she, every time I try to do combo, she gets that like one good hit in and like takes out all my HP. Ah, oh, sheesh. Oh my God, come on, man. Yeah, sorry, folks. I, I wish there was something I could have done to make this like a lot more interesting. Maybe I should just cut, like, cut to when we're at the end of this, because I've already shown you like how annoying this fight is. So. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna cut it. So I'll, I'll be back when uh, when she's dead. is in the Onyx Tower, guarding his Lord Mordok. You must destroy the Pale Knight and his tower once and for all. You must save Baldur's Gate. Please, hurry. Should just kill you, you know, for what you did, but uh, we'll grab all this stuff. But yeah, I, I, what I decided to do, I think I'm just going to fast forward the fight just to show you how long it actually took me to do that, because yeah, that was a pain in the butt right there. But anyway, Rondalia defeated because her heel turn was quick and we beat her just as quickly. So it almost seemed like it really wasn't that big of a deal. But now we find ourselves in the Onyx Tower. Will it be as annoying and dangerous as in the previous game? Will we get through there a lot faster? What awaits us inside? Find out next time in the next episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.